Now, the construction nightmare on Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco was supposed to be finished this year. The contractors kept hitting snags. And now the SFMTA says it is delayed again, and that means even more pain for the street's business owners. Nipe Chavazquez tells us about the latest victim, a woman who is a Japanese internment camp survivor. Joe? Yeah, Veronica, you know what? Van Ness is still a mess, and it's been like this for three years. The street is torn up. There's construction equipment everywhere. Right now, there are workers still going into the night trying to improve the avenue here but as we mentioned some of the uh, businesses the folks who own these small businesses nearby they are struggling with some financial hardships it looks like a construction trash heap she told us it could happen and it did last october messiah wa showed us how the van ness improvement project was about to strangle her business the piles of construction equipment and constant roar of trucks were making it nearly impossible for customers to know her bootleg bar and kitchen was even open for business. She tried to hang on but ended up closing in December. We uh, lost everything and now we're being sued like criminals for opening up a small business in San Francisco. It's, um, it's horrible. Now her landlord is suing her for $201,000. That's because Messiah had signed a lease promising she would pay rent all the way to mid-2020. But that was before she knew the Van Ness Improvement Project's delays were going to crush her business. She says she had to stop payments because she's run out of money. The landlord is also suing her mother. My mom was a guarantor on the lease, and throughout all these talks about how we were no longer able to make rent, um, they were like, okay, well, your mom's a guarantor, but we wouldn't go after her, we wouldn't go after her, but they are. Messiah's 77-year-old mother, Isami Arifuku, is also named in the lawsuit because she is a guarantor on the lease. Mrs. Arifuka was a survivor of the Japanese internment camps. After getting her Ph.D. at UC Berkeley, she co-authored a book on history of Japanese Americans in California. She worked for decades at the National Council on Crime and Delinquency, advocating for criminal justice reform for children of color. Mrs. Arifuku now has Alzheimer's. Attorney Mark Rennie says she needs her retirement savings for her long-term care. This is a woman who was in a Japanese internment camp. It's like you start your life like that and you end your life, you know, with bill collectors chasing you, trying to take your house away. We are better than that as a city. San Francisco's better than that. The landlord is Mosser Companies, which owns quite a few properties around the city. The CEO tells me the Van Ness project has been disruptive and notes that it's very difficult to find others to lease this space, especially with all the delays. An SFMTA spokesman now says the Van Ness improvement project is expected to be finished in mid-2021, two years behind schedule. The CEO, Nevio Mosser, told me by phone today that he's aware of the lawsuit and he believes his company is close to settling the case with Messiah. He also told me he has no intention of going after a senior citizen. That's a quote. No intention of going after a senior citizen. When I reminded him that his company has sued her, well, he said he still has no intention and he said he believes they are close to settling it. Stay tuned. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.